Hey guys, in today's makeup look, I'm going to be showing you in today's makeup look, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this um, super shimmery green sparkly eye using products from my makeup basket and also pro other products in my collection. Um, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then let's just get started. Okay. Um, so I started off doing this eye first because I wasn't sure how the first two colors were going to go. So I'm going to proceed with this eye and then finish up with this eye. Hopefully this look goes according to what's going on in my head. Um, we have Sebastian here. Say hello. Say hello. Anyways. Okay. Um, so first I'm going to start off with um, the electric palette. And I'm going to go into the shade Thrash. This like bright greenish color here and I'm going to take that on a fluffier brush um, MAC 224 now the reason why I'm doing this step this time and I don't usually do a step is because I use an eyeshadow primer that I needed to be careful how I was going to lay down my first shadow with um, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer now I don't always love this for blending on um, shadows without setting it I don't want to set it because it's already thick enough and I don't want to add too much texture to my eyelids so I laid that down first. I didn't set it with powder because I wanted to use a big dusting of whatever color I was already using as my powder to help with setting it as well as help with the blending. Oh my gosh, Sebastian, stop it! Up! You can't sit on my shoulder if you're going to just quack like that. Behave! Sorry guys. Okay, so I just did a light dusting of that all over my the crease area here with this big fluffy brush. The next shade that I'm going to go into, don't need that anymore, so I'll put it away. Um, the next shade that I'm going to go into is from the Metropolis palette, and it's the shade Lethal. It's that um, nice green color here. And I'm taking my MAC blending brush with that, 217. I'm going to get a little bit of that on the brush, and I'm going to start working that right into the crease. And I'm going to bring it right the way in. And just blend it into that previous color there. I just want a nice transition shade for the dark green I'm going to put on the lid. Okay. Now that that's done, the next shade I'm going to use is from my basket here. It's the Urban Decay Zodiac color, that super dark green color, shimmery green color. Now I have a bit of a plan, so actually I'm going to go, um, what am I going to do? I'm taking a lighter green. I have a palette here that I have mixed and matched um, MAC shadows and Makeup Geek shadows. So I'm going to take my Makeup Geek shadow in the shade Fiji. I know she reformulated these, so I'm not sure if this is still in her new reformulated um, collection. But I'm going to take that on a MAC 239, just a flat brush here. It's dirty, I need to wash it, but I'm going to use the other side. And I don't think I need... Stay there. I don't think I need to set underneath with another... Um, with a base before I put this on. I'm going to assume it's going to stick properly because I have the primer with nothing on it in the inner corner and that's exactly where I'm just going to lay this down. I just want a bit of a base um, in order to put because I have some glitter that I want to use but I don't want to I don't want the green the darkest green to go all the way to the inner corner so I needed a lighter shade to you know blend and fuse them together. Alright now for this color here I think my plan was Alright, I'm going to use a little bit of my glitter glue just to help everything stick together. And I'm going to apply a teensy, weensy amount of that on top of the lid. And just slightly blend it just below the crease. You don't want to bring it up too far because you don't want the shades that you're going to blend on top of the crease just blending afterwards. You don't want it to like create that harsh, gross line. Oh, I'm going to use this as a base, not the glitter glue. Oh well, this is what happens when things don't go according to plan. Okay, 
Um, I'm going to go in with a different brush. This is the MAC 242 Synthetic. It's also dirty with another green shadow from before. And I'm just going to take... This might need to be applied with my finger, but I'm going to try and pack it on with this brush first. I also wasn't sure how pigmented and saturated the color would be on this. So I was going to use the pencil, this one here, um, to assist with that, but it seems to be just as saturated and as deep and pigmented as the last time I used it. Alright, so, what are you doing? Get back on my knee. I'm just going to apply that and blend it out a little bit. But not going too far above the crease because I don't want this look to get carried away. Now I need to find a color to blend those two together. I'm just going to take this a little bit in here. Just a little bit overlapping that green there. Not too much. Um, okay, what color am I going to use to blend the two together? Um, okay, I guess I can take, I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Troop from the Natasha Denona palette. It's another one of those cream powder formulas. You can tell I like them because I keep using them. My eyeshadow matches Sebastian. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, I'm taking that on a smaller brush. And my goal with this color is just to kind of... Alright, I've packed it on there. Now I'm just going to take my other fluffier brush with the shade Lethal on it. And I'm just going to blend between those two colors with that. going back and forth between Troop and Lethal. Until those colors are all blended together. Okay. Now I just want to take a little bit of um, CG on a fluffier brush. Just, so, just like a teensy little bit. And I just want to buff that on the outer edge just to maintain some of that brightness. I should have used the shade Thrash by, um, from the um, electric palette, but it doesn't make a difference, will it? I don't want to over blend here. Let's see. I'm end up, I ended up taking that color anyways. I just want to see. Okay, so it's definitely brighter, so it helps. All right. Okay, now that we have that blended into a nice little like pukey green shade, Now I do have some follow here, but that's okay. We're looking, working with a uh, super glitter here. All right, now for the brow bone, I'm going to take my usual brow bone highlight color, and I'm going to apply that up here. Add some brightness. Yes, I know you're grouchy. People could hear me making that noise, you know. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, for the inner corner for the glitter that I want to add, let me break out my favorite brush that they want to use for that, this little silicone thing here. I'm going to take a little bit of my glitter glue. Now this is when things can get really tricky and go really wrong. I'm going to take a little bit on, my t on the tip of my finger and I'm just going to lightly tap it on the inner corner. If your fingers are big and your eyes are small then you can use um, like a little brush for this or if you have um, one of these silicone applicators you can use that. 
Then I'm just going to take a little bit of my glitter into the cap here. I should have done this beforehand because every second that passes by, the glitter glue dries. And I'm going to take some of the glitter on that and just tap it over top of where I applied the glitter glue. Okay, that gives a beautiful like added like little sheen if you can see it there. I love it. Okay, I'm going to finish up this eye, apply my liner, clean up the fallout, prime my face, apply foundation and some stuff and I'll come back and finish the lower lash line and the finishing touches with you guys. Okay, so both of my eyes are finished now. Um, the only thing I did that I, I did this while I was just messing around and finishing up that I forgot to show you guys, um, besides applying the um, Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby in the middle corner here that I always do, I decided to step up the glam a little bit and I took a shade from my Pat McGrath palette, the, I don't know what this is called. It's the one with the really cool rose gold and like the gold and the green here. Um, but I took a little bit of the gold color and I just tapped it on this part right here. I'll even take a little bit more. Like it's just this beautiful... I just had to. I'll just take a little bit more on this side here because it's not quite even. And it just gave it, just like, just elevate it just a little bit more. I was going to add the green here as well. But I decided that I didn't want to cover up the green that I used before. By the way, the green glitter that I used before was from NYX. Um, I got this on sale at the drugstore a while ago. And it's in the shade... What shade is this in? Ice? It's in the shade Ice. But it's basically just like a white shimmer with green reflex in it. You can see that there. Anyways, so that's what I use on the inner corners here. I remembered that I forgot to tell you. Um, I did my eyebrows. I applied foundation. For foundation, I used my L'Oreal True Match Lumi um, in the shade W5. And I used for concealer my um, Born This Way in the shade Swan. Just a little bit on the inner corners there. Um, I didn't apply primer because um, it's like halfway through the day and I'm not doing, really doing much today so I don't really feel like I need my makeup to like be like locked and ready for the rest of the day so I saved on that. For highlight, I'm not sure if I like this highlight. Um, it's a, what was it? You know when you order from Sephora, it's not the 100 point perk but if you spend, you know, $25 um, then you get like this other add-on bonus thing. Well, I picked this little Artist Couture Diamond Powder, and the shade they sent me is not the shade that it said I was going to be getting, um, Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati. Um, it's kind of like, let me just get a swatch for you, this is cutting into the video, but whatever. I don't know if I like it, it's like really gold on me. That's what it looks like there. I have the shade Coco Bling, and I really like that. It's oh, I was going to try and show it to you, but it's can't get at it. Um, anyways, I put that on. It's okay. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So, you know, we'll see. Maybe it's also because I didn't put primer on, so I have a little bit more texture showing through. Um, that could be why. Um, anyways, um, back to blush. Um, so I was going to use a powder blush, but my skin is really dry, so I've been using cream blushes lately. Um, and because I don't have very many cream blushes, I've actually been using a lot of my MAC lipsticks for blushes. So today I'm going to use my Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, however you say it, in Nicki's Nude. It's a nice nude color to go along with this green. I didn't want pink. Where are you going? There's no one downstairs. Stay up here. Sebastian's trying to fly away. Um, so like usual, I'm just going to apply that on my hand here to warm it up. And I'm going to apply that with my dirty brush. I have to clean my makeup brushes after this. Hopefully, I'm just going to wipe it off real quick because I don't want the hot pink shade that I used yesterday to um, contaminate 
this neutral nude blush I'm gonna blush lipstick I'm gonna use okay um I haven't tried this with anything um, actually I did yesterday I did try with my bite beauty lipstick and it worked out pretty well the only thing if you're gonna try this um, using lipstick as a cream blush is don't use it if your um, lipstick is really creamy like the Mac luster I don't really know if I trust that because I feel like it's just gonna give a lot of there's a lot of moisture in it because it's a luster um, but if it's like a matte or like on the dryer like a satin a satin finish then I'd say try it. If you're afraid, then just do it right before you're like gonna take your makeup off for the day. You're not going anywhere. Um, I find using your blush as lipstick, using your lipstick as blush is a really cool way to make the most of your products. Um, I don't want to go out and spend a lot of money on cream blushes, but because it's, I'm also doing this because this daylight is coming in and it's giving me a glare. Um, I don't want to go out and spend a lot of money on cream blushes when I'm only going to use them for like the next couple of months as we're entering the spring season. I can use my powder blushes again, maybe. Who knows? Maybe my skin's changed enough that I'm just going to be a cream girl, cream product girl, a cream girl, a cream product girl from now on. Okay, um, that's that. I'm just going to do my usual blending of my things here. I'm so sorry Sebastian's being annoying today. I don't know what his deal is. Okay. I think that color choice for the blush was a good idea. It's not too pink. It's not too, like, brownish. Um, okay. Lower lash line. Let's finish that off. I'm going to start with a combination of things for the lower lash line. Uh, the first is this Urban Decay Electric Pencil in the shade Freak. I'm going to apply that on the outer corner here. And then on the inner corner I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. And the pink color that I always use, Magnetic Pink. Sorry, I'm gonna go get him. All right, sorry about that. He's on my knee now. Okay, um, so I'm gonna kind of experiment with this look. For, ouch, for the outer edge, I'm gonna use. I have this in my um, little makeup to use pile. It's a Lise Watier um, brand. I'm not sure if it's available in the U.S. but it's a shade in Canada. It's a, a shade, a brand in Canada that you can get at Shoppers Drug Mart. And I'm just gonna take. It's like a really shimmery. green color. So I'm going to take that on a small brush and I'm going to apply that on the outer corner going in to the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to take um, this tart chrome paint pot in the shade Wild at Heart. It's like a dural chrome and it's in the middle of like a green and a pink. I'm sure you can see that there. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on this half of the inner corner right here. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. This could be a complete and total fail but we're going to see. See, I should have took the green more to the inner corner because this is coming up more pink because I put a pink base underneath. Excuse me. Enough. And just blend those two where they join here. If you're following along and if you don't have these products, just use anything that's like got like a pink shift or like just use green or just use pink. Like experiment. Make it your own. Um, I brought that down a little too far so I'm just going to take a Q-tip and just blend that away. Buff it in. 
Do I like how that turned out? I mean, it's okay. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. For the inner corner, I'm taking my L'Oreal Goldmine Shadow. This has become a new favorite. Um, it was also in my products to use, makeup I'm trying to use up, and I really do like it. So I'm just going to take that on that same small brush, and I'm going to apply that on the inner corner. Ugh. Maybe I should use something a little bit brighter. This is not as bright as I wanted it to be. That's fine, we'll fix it. Okay. I'm just gonna there we go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of my usual MAC pigment here in gold, gold mode. It's like my go-to for everything. Let's see if this makes a difference. It is a little bit. Okay. Now that we've packed on the shimmer all over my eyes today. Wow, this is a shimmery look. Can you even see that? I can't even, on my viewfinder here, you can't even see the gold that's underneath, or the green that's underneath, sorry. I'm just going to apply a little bit more. Wow, this is shimmery. I mean, I love shimmer, but like, is this too much? Well, if you think it is, then, you know, customize it to how you want it. Just because this is how I'm doing my makeup doesn't mean you have to follow along exactly. Okay, I'm going to spray my face with my MAC Fix Plus, do my mascara, come back and do the lip, and show you guys the final look. I am back prematurely. I am not loving the how the lower lash line is just so like metallic and bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of a matte green shadow and I'm just gonna add it to the outer corner just to help, you know, like tone it down a little bit. Um, I think it's pretty, but I just want to tone it down just a little bit. So back into the Metropolis palettes. I can't think. Um yeah. I'm going to go back into the Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona and I'm going to take this green shade in the shade Royal. It's this dark um, forest green and I'm just going to take a little bit, of, little bit of that on this pencil brush here from MAC and I'm just going to apply that in the outer corner lightly and blending it in towards the center. going to also help give it some more dimension. This is what happens when you drink wine and do a makeup tutorial. <laughs> okay, I think I like that better. It just kind of like, just takes it down just a little bit, adds a little bit more dimension. Um, the shimmer's still there, but it's just like... I love shimmer, but I don't know. It was just a little bit much. Um, okay, I'm going to finish with the lower lash line and, yeah, come back and show you the completed look for real this time. Okay, I'm back and I finished the mascara. Um, for lips, I used a little bit of a combination here. I used my MAC um, lip gloss in the shade See Through. And I also topped it off with a little bit of the other one I'm trying to use in the shade... Um, mineralized glass and be nice this coral color here I put the um, MAC one on first and applied this lightly over top um, just because I wasn't really feeling a super um, pale nude lip with this look I feel like I needed a little bit more color so that's what I did and this is what it looks like right here um, that is it for today's makeup tutorial um, with these products that I'm trying to use up slash um, Don't know where I was going with that thought. Anyways, I feel like this week I've been doing really well with using products from this little um, basket here. Um, I keep saying, um, I need to stop. I feel like when I pick one or two things from that basket and use it in conjunction with my other makeup, I'm feeling like I'm having more success um, just because I didn't have a lot of like staples in there. So by mixing with other makeup, I feel like I'm still using it and also getting use of other makeup too. Um, for example, like these two eyeshadows um, that were in my little makeup basket here, I was able to mix them with other shadows that I like from my collection. 
um, like this, and I said, um, again. <laughs> and then Natasha. Natasha Denona Metropolis palette and I'm still able to create the look that I love while using the makeup that I want to get more use out of Okay, well, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Um, I hope you guys I said it again. Oh my gosh. What is with me today? I hope you guys enjoyed today's look and I will see you guys in the next video. No, you'll see me in the next video I can't see you guys ever Okay, bye guys <laughs>